Davao City Councilor Small Abellera, a supposed friend of presidential son and Vice Mayor Paolo Duterte, denies his involvement in the 6.4 billion peso worth of smuggled shabu from China. Abellera was invited to the Senate probe into the shabu smuggling Tuesday, but he does not attend. In a letter sent to the Senate Justice Committee, Abellera says he has no knowledge of and has no participation in drug smuggling. Abellera adds he is still recovering from hypertensive urgency. He also says he was advised by doctors to rest for two to four weeks and to avoid stress. Abellera says he could attend hearings should they be set on August 31 and September 4. Customs broker and fixer Mark Taguba earlier said he met Abellera and a certain Jack in Davao City last January. Taguba says he paid them an initial 5 million pesos for smooth transactions in the Bureau of Customs. Former Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tagiwalo refutes President Rodrigo Duterte's claims about department funds supposedly being used for the New People's Army. Duterte earlier said this was the reason the Commission on Appointments rejected her appointment. Tagiwalo says, quote, For the record and for the President's own awareness, not a single peso of the Four Peace Program passed through my hands. She adds, the funds for the anti-poverty program Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino, quote, are directly coursed through the land bank and its conduits, who then make direct payout to the Pantawid beneficiaries. The issue of NPA links was not raised during the CA hearing. Tagiwa Law says if she was questioned about her supposed NPA links, she would have given them answers that are easily verifiable. North Korea fires a ballistic missile over Japan and into the Pacific Ocean Tuesday. No North Korean missile flew over Japan for years. The launch comes after tensions because of Pyongyang's testing of two intercontinental ballistic missiles last month. Pyongyang also threatened to fire missiles toward the United States territory of Guam, while U.S. President Donald Trump warned of raining fire and fury on North Korea. Japan says the missile flew over the country's northernmost island, Hokkaido. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says the government would take full steps to ensure the safety of its people. Mm -hmm.